So the two terms most often employed to avoid the issue of racism and misogyny in tech are ethics and empathy. And they're both connected to specific kinds of new technologies on the horizon. Um, AI is paired with ethics often. You'll see ethics and AI, the Center for AI and Ethics, and so on. Um, ethics is a branch of philosophy. Philosophy, along with computer science, is the most white and male field in the academy. So this is a match made in heaven. Right? These two things were meant to be together. Right? There's no intrinsic connection between the study of ethics and the study of racism and sexism. In fact, it's a move away from this towards universals. Right? Um, virtual reality, like UX design, is paired with empathy and storytelling. So part of the reckoning is this surge of new centers, conferences, white papers, and institutes on ethics and AI, VR and empathy, rebranding these things as um, uh, feeling-based, or you know, virtual reality is called an empathy machine often. But as I mentioned before, ethics and empathy are not about racism, misogyny, and toxicity. Instead, they're about universal principles, right, or individual sensations. So to return to the matter of intention, I know that Mark Zuckerberg does not know what racism is. I really don't think he does. <laughs> his inability to understand how viewers would perceive his demo, where he was standing using VR, um, the kind of VR Facebook platform, in front of the severe flooding in Puerto Rico as dead animals, people's houses washed down the street, is one vivid example. I mean, you would not do that if you had any idea what racism was, right? Um, or what xenophobia was, or what feelings were in some ways. So this is why Mark Zuckerberg is a huge fan of empathy. Because empathy is a state of feeling or sensing rather than knowing. It's not something that can be taught. It's not something you can learn. It's something that designers create. So there's no need to have a definition of racism or be able to apply it to your everyday life or practice in digital space, and therefore no requirement to teach it or even to talk about it. Right? So it's a way to avoid discourse around it. The beauty of empathy is that you can avoid racism without ever knowing exactly what it is, since your body will sense it. 